Redbird Reef is an artificial reef site located a few miles off Delaware's Indian River Inlet. We've been mapping there since 2008, using sensors to measure the waves, currents, and formations known as seafloor ripples. If you want to predict erosion, storm surge, and overwash at the beach, scientists must correctly predict how a wave will change as it moves across the continental shelf. Strong storms leave their signature on the seafloor, just like a human fingerprint. The data we get are very complex. Using algorithms developed to analyze fingerprints, we're able to highlight areas with ripples and ignore featureless areas. This is an incredibly powerful tool for our research. So fundamentally, we're, we're still in very much in a situation where large portions of our, our ocean, the vast majority of our ocean, has never been fully mapped or, or at least directly uh, mapped for uh, seafloor bathymetry and, and texture. We like to think that we have the, the, the whole planet mapped, but really most of that is from remote sensing. So almost any time we go out, it's, it's sometimes some of the first or only times that that area has been mapped. Here we are able to come out repeatedly and now we can actually see a time series where we can actually see how the seafloor evolves through time. And that's really where the scientific aspect starts to get really interesting is we can look at how the seafloor evolves in response to, to storm events. And being able to see that helps us to be able to model how waves are going to move across the continental shelf. And that means understanding the distribution of sediment types and, and ripples and other roughness on, on the shelf. And mapping efforts like this really help us to, to see, see what that seafloor is composed of. For the Mid-Atlantic region, nor'easters are really the dominant storm. Based on the activity of storms in the recent years, this research could very well contribute to improving predictive models.